Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're talking about the new changes to the power leveling system that uh, Bungie implemented not too long ago. And essentially making one of my videos null and void because now getting to power level 960 is actually achievable within this DLC. And ultimately I will be trying to achieve it. Not as hardly as I would mostly because I don't have access to the raid as much as I used to considering I don't have a raid group or anything like that. I do I will do be doing it with like randos and whatnot but like nothing really beats doing it with a couple of friends that you've known for years doing the raid so for me at least it's it's awesome because now what was it I had like four to five pieces of armor that was level 951 and then when these changes went by which was yesterday I had a few bounties from the iron banner that I, I didn't complete yet I did them and lo and behold, they dropped at 9.53. So that's awesome. It's gonna be so much more easier and actually achievable to reach 9.60 this season. And I love this change. There's not, there's nothing negative in this video for real. Like I, this is a great change. I, I'm happy that they did it. I think the only negative I can think of is like, why change something that, well, it didn't work for, it didn't work for me at least in the previous seasons as I thought that getting to power level, the highest power levels like trivial because I come from old school D1. So like in D1, the only way to like power level or to like level up to the highest point was like raid. Like that was it, I think back in the day. Yeah, no, actually the raid and Iron Banner. So people who don't know their history and they're bitching like, oh, Iron Banner should not give like this much stuff. It's been like that since Destiny 1 iron banner one like since iron banner the first iron banner ever we had a situation that was was it like real level 20s or something like that where you weren't a real level 20 unless you had all the raid armor and whatnot i was not a real 20 or a, a real level 20 whatever it's called i don't remember it off the top of my head but i was not a real one because i had what was it Everything was raid, but like my boots were not. My boots were Iron Banner. So people, I often got calls like, "Oh, what a fake 20 And it's like, "Are you serious? Not like it? What the fuck? Shut the fuck up! That's so dumb." So I'm old school Destiny one. So for me, hitting level cap meant a lot more, considering like you had to run the raids every week to get lucky to get the drops that you needed. Now it's just kind of like trivial because we have a modifier that's always on that drops 950 or not now 950 gear i the introduction to like the pinnacle gear is awesome but again i think the fact that i'm not running raids and i'll be able to hit 960 i think that's a little not acceptable for me 960 should be only achievable to those who put in the work and do raids or dungeons or like the really pinnacle stuff so like the master nightfall nightmares raids stuff like that should only be reserved for the people at the highest level because like me i'm a casual mm, nah can't call myself a casual i put too much hours into this i'm i'm more of a solo a solo player should still be able to hit 960 in my opinion but he should not be able to achieve it easier than the people who run raids weekly that's my opinion uh you can fight me on this but it's just there would be no reason for people to run raids weekly unless like you're really trying to get this god roll on, a, on an armor piece me personally i don't really give a shit about the armor st stats i think that's a very weightless argument when people tell me like oh this dlc has a lot like we, ha we can do stats now it's like put random rolls like stat random rolls armor in any dlc and it would have been made made great so for me whatever but that's not that type of video i'm actually really happy because the power change like i said does make it so it's going to be much easier not only that but i actually do do pinnacle stuff i do like what the dungeon with almost every character since it's been out i try to do the pinnacle stuff as much as i can but like I said, I'm a single player, or I'm a solo player, so it's gonna be a little bit more harder for me, but I will achieve 960 by the end of the season, hopefully. If not, like I said, 
I don't really care still, but it's awesome that they changed it and it's actually making me think about like, oh shit, nah, maybe I should just try to get that 960, so. It's awesome that they did this change. I'm just gonna be saying that for a while, but I also wanted to make this video because I've been getting really angry because I've been trying to get the solo flawless for the dungeon and I just keep getting killed by fucking bugs in the fucking dungeon where the, ev the elevators in the first area keep killing me and apparently there's a bug on pc that if i switch from one area to another i die and it's just like oh my god bro like i love this dungeon i really do but like the third phase and the bugs really fucking angers me because the third fa pa phase is just so fucking dumb but let me know what you guys think about the new power change. Is it awesome? Is it cool? Let me know in the comments below. I think personally, like I said, it's great, but I do think that the Pinnacle 960 should stay Pinnacle. It should never be like accessible to people who don't put enough time or don't do the raids like as much as like people do, like like actual people. So, you know, other than that, uh, follow me on my social media outlets uh, if you want to keep up to date with all the stuff that I do. Links are in the description below. And I will see you guys later.